Hello, I am Annie Miller with Fit Design by Annie, and today we are going over the barbell hip thrust or barbell hip bridge. So there are a lot of ways that you could get set up for a barbell hip thrust. Today we are just using a flat bench and we are using a pad that is not connected to the bar. So there are also pads that wrap around the bar, which would totally be fine. She's gonna slide herself underneath the bar. If you don't have bumper plates or can't hip thrust 135 pounds with 45 pound plates on each side, this is going to be more difficult. So you could set up weights or some sort of elevated surface underneath the actual weights to get set up into this position. So she's got her pad on her hips. Make sure that your hips are padded, whether it's an external pad or a pad around the bar. Her feet are shoulder width or slightly wider and her upper back is on the bench. As she presses up using her glutes, she's pinning her rib cage down nice and tight, squeezing her glutes at the top, and she has an overhand grip. She could have an underhand grip, and that would be fine as well. Go ahead and bust out a couple reps. You want to make sure that the bench is equal to or below your knee crease. Good, and that is just for better glute engagement. She's making sure that she's pushing her knees out at the top. To make this more difficult, you could put a mini band around your knees or right underneath your knees. Good, she's also tucking her chin down the entire time. This just helps ensure that she is not hyperextending through her low back. Good, and then to set it down, you would just drop the weights all the way to the floor and slide out from underneath the bar. As you know, I love seeing you put Movement 101 into action. So make sure that you are taking videos, taking pictures. You can even just screenshot the video of us going through a movement and tag me on Instagram at Fit Design by Annie. Use the hashtag educated movement and I will see you in the next video.